and welcome to my channel in this video I'll show you how to replace the 722.6 transmissions uh, on, on Mercedes Benz's um, uh, W210, W220 and the electrical transmission connector or adapter it's called uh, you can find it in the in the passenger corner of the transmission pan there's a cover it's hidden behind this metallic cover uh, you need a t30 torx bit to unscrew that cover just to move it to the side you don't need to take it out all the way uh, just to give yourself room to get to the adapter or to the connector and uh, that orange tab you see that's the locking position keep that in mind take photos uh, of how yours is and then slide it down as you slide it down as you can see that connector unscrews and as you slide it up to lock it when you replace it it screws the connector into the, the housing and that housing is unlocked with a seven millimeter socket As you can see, it's a little wet the connector, and, and that's the issue with these. Uh, you have to do this every every 30,000 miles or so, when, or at least whenever you replace your transmission fluid and uh, filter, uh, because uh, this is a flaw in the design that chances are the transmission oil could get all the way uh, through through the electrical lines to your computer. And that could be very costly. So with a seven millimeter um, socket, you can uh, remove the housing. Sometimes it can be depending on when it was replaced last time. There are two rubber gaskets that hold this in place. Uh, besides the the screw, it might be a little hard to get it out. Also the tab. Uh, don't be afraid to use leverage to slide it down and so you remove the housing and then um, clean up you know dry up the connector and um, and uh, compare you see there are two triangular type of grooves on the on the connector and so it can only go one way uh, putting it back in uh, you might think that you know uh, it's not going in or it's not fitting properly do I press it or not but if you take photos or if you pay attention where the slide is you want you want the tab to be all the way to the left as you put it in so it has to be all the way in the open position and uh, and using a, a cell phone take a photo and you should be able to see those you should be able to see those uh, connectors you know all those metallic connectors showing up through the holes of this housing and that's when you know that it's seated properly at that point you can uh, then lock, uh, tighten it and you don't want to tighten this too much I don't have a torque value for you, but um, uh, with a wrench, you want to just hand tighten it, as you see me do here. I'll try to find the torque value and put that in the description, but I just hand tighten it. And uh, so it's important that uh, in order to put this back together, that that yellow or orange tab is all the way down and not up. Up is the locking position, down is the unlock position. And then you place the connector inside and you see the top where the cable is. Just, just pay attention to that. It can only go one way because of those triangular uh, grooves I uh, showed you before and then you slide the tab all the way up and as you slide it up it locks it into position uh, thank you and talk to you soon bye bye